so much lighter than my shake. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, so this is my first time, uh, like she said, from the East Coast. Uh, I'm an interesting mix. Uh, I'm a half Pennsylvania Dutch, half West Virginia trailer park. Um, <laughs> It's a little bit of a inbred Quaker going on. Uh, it's it's kind of like a rum springer gone wrong, you know? Like you went out looking for independence and instead you found deliverance. Uh, <laughs> so another fun fact about me, when I was about five years old, I discovered that I have a superpower. Yeah, I can make people. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. Of course, I had no idea how it worked. So uh, I went looking for my very own Obi-Wan Kenobi, help guide me on my journey. You know, someone older, wiser, grayer, my grandmother would have to do. Um, I asked her where babies came from, how they were made. And she said, well, when a man and a woman love each other very much, they get married. And then they ask God for a baby. <laughs> I was calling bullshit because I'd just seen Roseanne and Jackie was totes knocked up and did not have a ring on it. So, <laughs> so I came back with, well, Grandma, what about the people that aren't married that have babies? She said, well, sometimes even God makes mistakes. <laughs> Needless to say, I spent about the next eight years of my life praying to God to not accidentally knock me up. <laughs> which was really good practice for my early 20s, but thankfully by then I had plan B and did it, my God. I recently turned 30. This, yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, so now I spend most of my time praying to God to help me get laid. Uh, do you ever think about how much we call out to God in everyday colloquialisms? I mean, especially during sex. It's like, oh God, oh God, you know? I mean, I know I'm guilty of it, especially when I've recently changed the batteries. Um, <laughs> but I, I like to keep it fresh though. I like to switch up, you know, a little, oh God, oh Jesus, oh God, God, Jesus, 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 God, God, Jesus. You know, it's like a holy three-way, just like, <laughs> keep it going. And I know some of you are starting to think about that and you realize it's incestuous, but that might be the West Virginia trailer park coming out of me, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, no, I, I love men. I love men, but uh, I gotta say I love women. But uh, here's, the thing, here's the thing about women. Um, I, I, it's not that I don't wanna date women, it's that I choose not to date women. And here's the reason. Bitches be crazy. <laughs> Yeah, bitches be crazy. Uh, and I mean, I should know, I spend 24 seven with one. I don't need this times two, I deal with this all day. And the real secret obviously is not that bitches be crazy, it's that all women are crazy, it's just how well we hide it from you. Uh, obviously there are things that deter that, i.e. alcohol. Uh, drunk Erin, uh, she's not so good at keeping a lid on the crazy. No, not so good at that. Uh, her and I, we recently had a bit of a run-in. Uh, <laughs> you know, I was out on a date with a beautiful, oh my God, full-bodied, Argentinian bottle of Malbec. <laughs> and things were going pretty smooth. And next thing you know, I wake up with a headache and a ringing, and the ringing is my phone, and there's an alarm, and I don't know what it's telling me, and I have to play a CSI agent, and I'm figuring it out. And I go into my email, and I realize that I have an appointment confirmation for a full Brazilian bikini ex. <laughs> Apparently, later in the evening, drunk Aaron decided that she was none too pleased with the situation downstairs. <laughs> Here's the thing about Drunk Erin, though. Drunk Erin, uh, aside from the fact she has no accountability, responsibility, inhibitions, sometimes morality, I gotta admire Drunk Erin. Cause she gets shit done. Thank you.